All right, so there's the pigs. They're over here in this area. And then if we look over here, I'll tell you a little bit about this. So we have um, built a harder like fence for them to get through right here. This is going to be for our winter time to overwinter the piglets um, so we can keep them. Um, so because uh, we get a lot of snow, a lot of snow here in um, northern Michigan, and we are like in a snow belt, so we get plenty. So we've got a house that we're going to put, um, make it a little extended. We're going to get lots of hay or straw in there for them to keep it warm. And then this will be, um, this will be their spot for the winter, which will be um, kind of boring probably. So we'll have to come out and hang out with them a little more, maybe, and feed them, give them some snacks and stuff. But um, but this fencing right here that you see here, it will be completely covered, and the yellow things break because of the snow weight all the time. So they would definitely find a new home, and uh, we wouldn't want that. So we're going to go ahead and then have them house inside this area here, which is still quite large area for them. Um, just it'll be a little safer for them. And so that's what we're going to do this year with our piglets. So wish us luck. We're going to see how this overwintering um, piglets go for us in northern Michigan. We're also doing uh, cooney coonies in a separate area um, in the back garden that they're going to get the home for. So see you later, friends. There's Oliver and Chip putting on a show for us. Cute fighting. Isn't that funny? So little and so big. Ooh, somebody's got some teeth going on. Oh, boy. All right, here's just a look at the, the wood that we're getting stacked up. We always have so many projects to button up, and we're thankful for the warmer weather to keep going with this stuff. So I am currently drying out um, beans here and in another place. Those are my dry beans. They're kidney beans, black beans, and turtle beans. Uh, and refried beans, or pinto beans, that's what I said. Anyways, ha, I don't even know. All beans, all the dry beans. So there's the garden. There's our chicken tractors we need to put away. There's still more wood we need to go ahead and get stacked or split. Um, the leaves are starting to change. Um, so that's it's starting to look really pretty. There's lots of, not right here in our area, but um, lots of reds that I noticed driving today. Um, I think weather has something to do with what colors you're gonna be able to see, so. Um, it's looking pretty. So lots of projects that we got to button up. I need to do a bunch of um, probably seed saving, still harvesting. I need to um, do my herb garden. It looks atrocious. I've got to fix that up, get all the weeds, uh, put some more mulch down, and I've got to uh, propagate my strawberries with the runners and plant them new places. At the end of October, I'm going to be planting a couple hundred uh, garlic so that I can harvest more garlic. That worked out great. So Oh, and the list goes on and on, and that's only a smidge of it, and then the husband has the whole list. So, anyway, see you guys later. I'm going to be plugging away. What do you guys got to do? What's on your list to get ready for the long winter? Here's the back. So here's all the chickens hanging out. There's the herb garden. Um, there's some great medicinal roots that I need to go ahead and harvest um, after a frost. Um, there's marshmallow root, valerian root, a couple other things i got to get in there and do. Do all the strawberries, like I mentioned. Um... You know, make sure the chickens get their houses moved, get some bedding in there before the uh, before the winter hits. So, um, good stuff. And our, out there are our cooney coonies. They're little tiny pigs, um, and they're looking they're, they're they're looking they're pretty cute. I can see them looking. They're like, are you gonna feed us? No, man, you guys already got fed. So there's Oliver and the chickens. You can barely tell. All right, see ya.